And as you can see from the screen, it's not working. It's, it's not working good at all. Yo. I don't see these guys like where they Wait, what? Yet. What the f bro? So, over the past few days, guys, there has been a lot of issues with Call of Duty Warzone. The last update kind of messed up the entire mode. I'm not sure what the hell the developers did, but man, did they screw the pooch on this one. It's been pretty freaking bad. So, as you can see, guys, the first three clips showed you how people are clipping through the floor, and also the loading times, logging in. It's been very freaking bad. So, uh, one thing that I, that I saw on Twitter is that... Uh, People have been sending out death threats. You know, this is one big time no-no. You know, I know you have the guys. You guys have the right to complain about this whole situation. I'm not taking it away from anybody, but please do not send death threats. Y'all gotta chill out with that. You know, because what I've, what I've been reading on Twitter, you know, people are really upset. They're literally on full-time crackhead mode. But man, y'all gotta chill out with the, with the freaking death threats. There's something not to say. And I know people are gonna be pointing out like, Joe, wouldn't you be upset if it happened to multiplayer? Like, I, cause I know I only play multiplayer mode, not Warzone. I haven't played Warzone since the first time it released back in 2019. Um, in my opinion, yes, I will be upset in multiplayer, but the farthest I can go will be like, yes, the developers are lazy and don't wanna do nothing about it and they take weeks to fix it. That's That will be as far as I go as for you guys. You know, some of these people on Twitter have been very extreme. So, uh, in my opinion, please chill out with the death threats and just voice concerns and your opinions. And that's it. <laughs> you know, please. And push forward for change. You know, I'm never going to say no to not push forward for change and stay quiet. I will say, like, yes, push forward for change because this thing does not supposed to happen. You know, because uh, to be honest, in all honesty, like, it didn't happen the first time it released. If you think about it, the first week of release of this game was pretty smooth like it was a total nice ride just playing the first week of release and just trying to level up your weapons for me it there wasn't much lag uh, there wasn't much like kicking yourself from the lobby um, the game was pretty much active so this was actually the first successful release of call of duty over the past decade and i've been playing call of duty since black ops 1 so um, in my experience i think this was the best call of duty to have best released but I was thinking like, man, wouldn't this be like the calm before the storm? Wouldn't they have like a worse update coming up in the future? Because if it didn't happen now, if it didn't happen the first day of release, it would happen later on. So it was kind of expected at this point. I was like, man, I was hope I'm hoping I was hoping it was never gonna happen. But now we're here and it happened. I'm like, dude, I think I totally freaking jinxed it. <laughs> so um I'm not saying like like oh you guys are supposed to expect this so be happy like I'm not gonna say that I'm just gonna say that it was gonna be happening in the future, and uh, once it happened I'm hoping you guys voice your concerns about this whole situation, you know, so um, so yeah like it was gonna happen regardless they was gonna have a big they're gonna have a big mess up or something I don't know, but according to a lot of people out there and according to people on Twitter they're saying that uh, Infinity Ward has a beef with Sledgehammer Games or the other way around. I think Sledgehammer Games has a beef with Infinity Ward because over the past few months, um, there has been some updates that slipped under the radar for Sledgehammer Games and they've been upset about it because Infinity Ward really wants to cater to everybody, like to like uh, the campers, like very badly and, you know, something like that. I'm not sure what the hell did I read on Twitter, but people are saying that type of stuff that this was because of a beef they've been having on, on uh, the developer side. And th this is the best way to show their protesting that, uh, you know, to just to screw up the game for fun. So Infinity War can just chill out with their changes and their, their own doings because they just don't follow, um, you know, 